We are good. Alhamdulillah, I'm also good. Today we want to learn the school administration. The school administration involves the following people. Number one, the head teacher, who is the head of the school. Two, teachers. Three, parents. Four, pupils. So they may ask you, which one of the following is not part of school administration? So I said, we think around. Why not? After the school administration. Number one, the head teacher is appointed by the Ministry of Education to head the school. So mostly on public schools, head teacher is appointed by the Ministry of Education. Let us see the role of head teacher. He or she is the executive secretary to the school committee. Number two, he or she admits all new students. Number three, the head teacher is the accounting officer of all funds. Number four, he's, he or she is in charge of maintaining school facilities. Number five, he or she ensures proper discipline and hygiene are maintained. Number six, he or she supervises all teachers and supporting staffs. Now, let us see also the role of teachers. Teachers handle subjects to be taught in class. That is the main function. Number two, supervising people on their responsibilities. Three, maintaining general discipline of learners. Number four, guiding and counseling people towards good behavior. The third role is the role of pupils. Pupils must obey the school rules and regulations. Number two, prefects and monitors should help teachers in maintaining discipline. Number three, people should maintain cleanliness. Four, pupils must behave responsible. Now let us see importance of school administration. School administration, we have said, consists of the head teacher, teachers, parents, and pupils. So importance of school administration, number one, it ensures that there is a proper planning. There is a proper planning. Number two, it ensures the school to function well. Number three, it ensures that all teachers attend their classes. Number four, it creates peace respect and harmony to all members of the school community. Number five, it ensures proper discipline among members also. The role of school in the community. School normally provides pupils with knowledge. Number two, it prepare, uh, pre prepares pupils with skills during adult life also because when school is going to be able to get the same thing in the school then the same thing is that you can do and you can do assist in developing special talents like footballers yeah. then number four offering jobs to some members of local community like supporting staffs so that you can do a career watchman or a school providing facilities such as playgrounds yeah bullshit and you can do a lot now, let us also see contribution of community in the school development. Providing workers such as supporting staff of the school. Number two, supplying food to the school community members. Number three, providing land for the expansion of the school. School is a school. And uh, community that yeah, Senekata. So today's lesson will be up to there. Hope you will understand it very well, and you can ask me questions via message. Thank you, and have a nice day.